What's going on guys? KJ here. Today we are going to be opening up a box of 1819 SP Authentic. This is my first time ever opening up a full box of SP Authentic before. I have had the fortune of opening up a couple loose packs here and there. Haven't been too lucky, have never pulled a autograph card um, out of any of the loose packs. So I decided that because SP Authentic is coming out in probably about a month and a half, somewhere in the middle of June after whatever the delay is, that I might as well open up a box now and just check out what the product is when you get the privilege of opening up a full box. So the big name cards out of here, obviously Pedersen Future Watch Auto would be the monster pull to get. Um, there is also a update of Nico Heischer's Future Watch Auto and uh, a update of Jack Eichel's Future Watch Auto in here. So those are kind of like two other big hits. Um, with the 1819 rookie crop, I believe Sveshnikov and Hart are like the other two like super big names. Uh, there's a couple other players in here as well that are obviously pretty good, but without further ado, let's crack into this. And hopefully we can get ourselves a Pedersen and make a nice chunk of change back with this box. It'd be nice to start off, uh, opening up SP Authentic with a big pull for the first box I've ever opened of it. That'd be great. Um, a little stuck there. Let's pull out the pack. So in the box, we are guaranteed um, two autographs and at least one Spectrum Effects card. Outside of that, there are no guarantees. So, you know, Hopefully we end up pulling two future watch autos. That'd be great because you are only guaranteed one of those autos to be a future watch We'll start out here on the right side of the box and Hopefully we can get something good. I'm not entirely sure who the young gun update cards are uh, for 1819 um, So first off we got a Brent Burns We have a Nathan McKinnon. I'm gonna set it to the side. We have a young gun update of Jake Bean to start us off. Um, so yeah, not bad. Um, I don't really think the Young Gun cards out of uh, SP Authentic for 1819 are that much to write home about. Um, I believe the uh, it's not that great of a, a Young Gun update crop for this product. But um, nevertheless, decent start. Better than pulling any of the random milestone inserts and other crap that's in here and these packs are a little a little difficult to open up because of the decoys um so we have a wayne gretzky mark messier and we have a nathan mckinnon authentic moments i can add that to the collection of a ton there with a taves and shattenkirk to finish off the base yeah, you get a, I've been in a bunch of breaks for SP Authentic or it's been in a bunch of mixers and um, usually I'd take Colorado just because there is a off chance in 1819, I believe to, um, I believe Colorado has like uh, Rantanen moments or patch cards or stuff like that. Um, so for like 10 bucks in a group break, why not, right? We have a Matt Zuccarello, we have a Roberto Longo and we have a Spectrum effects in this. Go off the back. Craig Anderson, we got a JVR, and our Spectrum Effects is a future watch of Philip Hronik. So not bad, it's a level one uh, future watch Spectrum Effects. Not too bad, I think getting rookie uh, Spectrum Effects cards are definitely uh, better than getting base, unless you're talking about like Connor McDavid. All right, moving on to the next pack. Really not used to open up thick packs like this. Good start in our first few packs here. We'll probably end up hitting a dry spot sooner or later. We got a Dylan Larkin, Kyle Connor. We got another, got something shiny back here. Clayton Keller, Tom Wilson, and we have another Spectrum Effects of Steven Stamkos. Level one, I believe. Might be level one. And that is a bounty card, which will come not in use in whatever way, shape, or form, because there's no way. I think the bounty is probably already redeemed for this, whatever 
It was. The bounty for, for 1920 is pretty intriguing to me. I believe that the bounty for 1920 is a gold Nathan McKinnon, which, because I'm an Avalanche fan, would be nice to go after, but it's a big set to complete. Next pack, we have a Connor Hellebuck, Connor McDavid, and then we got a rookie year milestones of Sidney Crosby, just a regular insert. And we got an Eichel and Guy Lafleur to finish that off. So, no ink yet, but uh, we'll get there eventually. Hopefully, we can pull at least two future watch autos in this. I'd prefer to get two future watch autos as opposed to a sign of the times or something else of that nature. So, we got a Taylor Hall, Zach Hyman, and we have an update of Daniel Sprong to finish that off. William Carlson and Brock Besser. All righty. Next pack, last pack of the first column, or the left side of the box, right side of the box, what am I talking about? All right, starting off, we got a Tarasenko base, Hornquist base, and we have a Authentic Moments of Morgan Riley. So another Authentic Moments cards. I'm not really a fan of them putting in like crappy inserts like this for such a high priced product. Um, I really wish SP Authentic would go back to the old format from the research I've done since this is my first year as a collector and them putting in three autos in a box for the price that you're paying because it is a pretty steep price. I think I paid $135 for the box. Starting off, we got a Ricard Raquel, Marc-Andre Fleury, and we have our future watch auto, which is a Jakob Zborl. So there is one of our autographs. Um, not great if that wants to focus at all not great 456 out of 999 i don't even know who this guy is i don't even know if he played in the nhl at all this year hopefully he turns out to be good um, the plus is that at least he is on boston which is a good team to get if you're gonna get a card of a rookie who you don't really know it might as well be for an original six team so we got one more autograph left in the box. Hopefully it is a, another Future Watch Auto to make up for that disappointment right there or possibly even a Future Watch patch. So this pack, we got Jonathan Marcheseau, Aaron Ekblad, and we have, oh my God. Whew, that is, wow. Holy wow. I'm gonna sleeve this up real quick. Man, that is a big, big pull right there wow talk about a first box of spa to open up we have a future watch auto of andre svechnikov number 683 out of 999 holy crap man this is the second future like big name future watch i've ever owned uh i ended up i had a david pasternak future watch earlier in the year which i ended up selling because you know good thing about collecting cards is when you go through tough times you got some extra you know assets available to pick up some money but that is a absolute beauty right there wow talk about a great box two future watch autos i am very very happy to say the least great box i believe that's probably the second best um uh, future watch auto that you could really pull in this box or in this set to be honest like eichel's good and all um but you know it not being in his rookie year and him having an update product not that great plus he's on buffalo he is a great player but you know being on buffalo does not help your value at all these days heart would be great you know because he's probably going to be really the only like big goaltending prospect that ends up panning out well but uh sveshnikov is definitely what you want in, in a in a in a rookie card especially a rookie auto being a uh, a winger who can score a lot of points next pack we got ov we got grandland and we have a pink or red whatever you want to call it of Braden shen and then we have a o'reilly and bo horvat so man i am i am thrilled with this box i was hoping that i'd get lucky and, and pull a big name player we did and uh, even though we're not going to be getting any more ink for the rest of the box, 
it does make opening up the rest a little bit less painful. So we got Sean Monahan, Nico Rantanen, and we have another authentic moments for Eric Stahl. Alrighty, and then last base, Artemi Panarin and Pierre Luc Dubois. So probably going to be an anticlimactic finish to the box since all the hits were in the first two stacks, and this probably just going to end up being a bunch of update cards. And wow, that decoy is torn up. We've got a Carey Price, Brad Marchand, and we have a Jack Eichel update card from Series One or Series Two. And base oh what is this okay extra hit i wow good thing i checked that we have a franchise icons of bobby Orr and zedano chara 173 out of 199 that is a cool little card i didn't even know that you could get these in a uh as an added this might be an extra hit so that's that's a cool little card to get put that in the hit pile all right getting into the last stack here rounding it out with our fifth last pack Nice little extra bonuses we got going on here. At least, uh, you know, I'm not too familiar with the set, so not sure what we're supposed to be getting. We got a Druin, we got an Alex Tuck, and we have another Authentic Moments, this time for Jack Eichel. Not bad. And then a Crosby and Jonathan Quick base to finish off that pack. Yeah, that Bobby Orr Zdeno Chara insert kind of threw me off there. I don't really know the product breakdown in full, aside from the two autos, um, your chance at getting like an auto patch, stuff like that. and the spectrum card so that was a nice little little bonus getting another numbered card in here uh, we got a Jake Gensel getting Kuznetsov and we have a pink of Patrick Hornquist Thomas Hurdle and Anthony Mantha so last three packs uh, probably not gonna get anything out of any value in these three but that's fine with me kinda makes for a little bit of a, a boring finish to the video I'm just gonna kinda plow through these rather quickly then we got a Matt Duchesne Braden Shen we have another Matt Duchesne this time at pink and we have a Cam Talbot and a Jake DeBrusque two packs to go um I don't even know if we can get another number card of this set or not so these are probably going to be two more authentic moments cards or update cards from series one series two Blake Wheeler John Tavares and we have a don't know what this is we have a Brady Kachuk I'm not sure what this card is like a like portraits update I I, I have no idea that could be a portrait um, I, I don't I haven't opened up any series one or series two from 1819 so this could be a portraits update I'm not entirely sure but it is a Brady Kachuk which is a good rookie to get so I am going to sleeve that up regardless and put it to the side. And then we have a Butcher and Hashik base card to round out that pack. One more pack to go. I am already, you know, we're already happy with the box. So this is probably just going to be an update card to finish things out. I thought that looked thick for a minute. I was going to say, can we get three autos in the SPA box or not? So we got a Tuvo. We have a Mitch Marner. We have a decoy and then we have a, a Ginla and Carlson can you really get did we not get a hit there oh there we go stuck to the back we have a Jake Muzzin uh, update from series one series two so well all in all that was a absolutely fantastic box we pulled two future watch autos one of a pretty significant magnitude um, these are all kind of the crappy just random inserts that have no value to me whatsoever but for the inserts as a recap we have a Brady Kachuk I believe that's a portraits update we have a franchise icons at a 199 of Bobby Orr and Zdeno Chara if that wants to focus I guess not we have a future watch autograph of Jacob Zborl we have a FX spectrum effects of Steven Stamkos, if that wants to fo freaking focus either. No, it does not. We have a rookie Spectrum Effects of Philip, Ro Philip Hronick. And we have a Young Guns update of Jake Bean. And then obviously the big boy hiding in the back. We have a Future Watch autograph of Andrei Svechnikov. A absolute monster hit. 
super happy um, with this box. Man, I, I'm, I'm really excited for 1920 SPA to come out. Hopefully we can pull him a car then. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like down below. I'd highly appreciate it. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. And as always, take it easy. Tell everyone that you know all my life I've been a real one, yeah. Tell everyone that you know all my life I've been a real one, yeah. Tell everyone that you know all my life I've been a real one.